sky where the sun comes to rest to welcome Sabbath Eve. Shadows cover the long mountain crest to welcome Sabbath Eve. And I wait for the stillness in me, and I wait to be open and free. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Menucha Simcha Hayom. Lai, 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 and I wait for the stillness in me, and I wait to be open and free. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Menucha Vasimcha Hayom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Menucha Vasimcha Hayom. Lai, 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 lai. Lai, 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 lai. Yai, lai, 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 lai. Lai, 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 lai. And I wait for the stillness in me. And I wait to be open and free. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom. Menucha v'simcha hayom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Menucha Vasimcha Hayom. Very nice. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thank you. A beautiful day. A nice place to end it here, Temple Emmanuel, intimate space of the chapel with a group who likes to pray, or at least be in the space surrounded by people who do. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do tonight, separate ourselves from the busyness of the world and just be here together. Um, so friends, if you haven't found it, your prayer book is behind you. Don't take the one from in front of you, because then the people in the front row don't have a prayer book. So take the prayer book from the chair behind you. Um, if you need to step out, we have our exit right there, as well as where Robert is. Hi, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> I already saw many of you doing it, but just in case you didn't get a chance to double check your phone, double check, alarms off, silent, quiet, peaceful, together. Rabbi Rachel, cantorial soloist Jessica Tillum, take a second, turn to somebody you did not hear, not drive here with, introduce yourself, a little Shabbat Shalom, and we'll come back together in just a sec. stillness in me and I wait to be open and free Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Venucha Basimcha Hayom Alright friends, we'll put our feet on the floor or our backs against the chair <laughs> That was great, this front row just all went vroom <laughs> Thank you for that all right, so if you'd like, perhaps you want to flutter your eyes closed or just relax them so we can take some deep breaths to leave whatever busy week we've just had, or maybe it was a light week, but no matter what, we leave it behind so that we can enter the 25 hours of Shabbat and those holy vitamins. So we take a deep breath in, let it out, another deep breath. We let it out, a final breath to prepare us for Shabbat. Deep breath in, and we let it out. And we'll flutter our eyes open and turn to page 120. <coughs> and Nancy, if you'll come around here to help with our lighting of the Shabbat candles. 
And if everyone will please rise. I'll hold this light. You just light, and then we'll do the blessing. Mm -hmm. Yep. We welcome in that love and that light and that warmth for Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, asher kedishanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzibanu, lehadlik ner, lehadlik ner, shel So friends, if you'd like to light your own Shabbat candles, you can do so just outside the chapel doors. If you're going to stay in your seat, go ahead and have one. Please be seated. Uh, Shalom Aleichem, 142 are Sabbath angels. Shalom Aleichem, 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 Kadosh Baruch Hu. Lachem Nishalom, Malachi Ashalom, Malachi Elion. Nimelech, Malachi Amlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Baruch Hu Nileshalom, Malachi Ashalom. Page 138, we have words of Lechadodi, in which we welcome the Sabbath bride. And I just want us, you know, every, every week we usually do verses 1, 2, sometimes we do verse 5, and we always do verse 9. If we've never really looked at the English, let's look at it for a second. Keep and remember a single command the only God caused us to hear. The eternal is one, God's name is one, glory and praise are God's. So much of a, a oneness of God in that one. In verse 2, come with me to meet Shabbat, forever a fountain of blessing. Still it flows as from the start, the last of days for which the first was made. Come with me to meet Shabbat, forever a fountain of blessing. So Shabbat is, I mean, imagine pick a fountain. Fun fact, I come from the city of fountains, and it's not the one in Italy. Kansas City is known as a city of fountains. So pick whatever fountain you imagine is the most <coughs> beautiful fountain you've ever seen. Imagine that's a representation of Shabbat. And imagine it with that crystal beautiful water just pouring, running smoothly. And it's right there for us to take. That's what Shabbat is for us. L'charodi 138. <laughs> Shabbat Shalom, 
Standing, page 147. Let's join together at the top of the page. <clears throat> there is one who sings the song of his own life, finding everything within himself. Join with me. There is one who leaves the circle of herself and sings the song of her people. There is one whose voice rings with the song of humanity, hoping for the highest perfection. And there, and there is, is one who rises even higher, higher uniting with, with all creatures, creatures with all worlds, worlds filling the, the universe, universe with song. Nivarech, let us bless. Baruch 146. <laughs> to the back inside cover of your prayer book. Hopefully you have the prayer there, and if not, perhaps a neighbor does. We're still working on getting them all with stickers, but this is our prayer of Ma'ariv Aravim, welcoming on the evening. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day, day turns to night.
152. We stand our ground nice and firm, proud of our community, proud of who we are, declaring God's oneness, Shema. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Please be seated. A little funny story from our house. Um, on page 154, we have Ve'ahavta, which of course is the prayer that's inside the mezuzot, inside the mezuz It is the mezuzah, and then the scroll. That's the actual mezuzah, and then the covering is just that's just the case. But we call the whole thing kind of the mezuzah. So we had I don't know 12 of them laid out on our on our countertop in the kitchen, because we just moved, and it was taking us a few days to, to get them up, and every day Zahara would go up there, be like, Zahara, use gentle hands, kind hands, touching these, these scrolls, and by like day two or three of it, she started very carefully going to them, and she would pick it up, and she would go, holy, and she would put it down, <laughs> and she would pick up another one, and she'd go, Ima, this is holy. <laughs> <laughs> and she'd put it down. I mean, that's what this prayer is all about. It's holiness. It's all about that when we see that symbol on the doorpost, it's a recognition that we're in a place that's special. Whenever she starts to kind of lose it, every once in a while, we'll pull the, see what's up on that doorpost? <laughs> Do we need to go give a little kiss? Remind ourselves we're in a holy place, a safe place place that's trying to maintain values and instill them, that's why it's up there. It's up there as, as the reminder. It's that grounding force when you feel a little lost. You can look at it and say, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Hopefully I'm in what I feel like is a, a safe place, and if not, I'm going to work to make it one, because that's what is asked of us in Vea Hafta. And more than that, to teach it to our children. Vea Hafta 154. Let's chant together. Vea Hafta Eitz Adonai Elohecha Bechol Levavcha Ubechol Nafshecha Ubechol Meotecha Vehayu Hadavarim Ha'ele Asher Anochi Mitzavecha Hayom Alevavecha Veshinan tam levanecha, vedibarta abam, veshivtecha bevetecha, uvelechtecha vaderech, ushochtecha ukumecha, ushartam leot al yadecha, vehayule totafot bene necha, uktaftam al mezuzot betecha, Uvi sharecha, leman tiskeru, va ati tem et kol mitzvotai, vi tem kedoshim leloehem, ani Adonai leihem, asher hot seiti echem, meeretz mitzrayim, liot lachem leelohim, ani Adonai leloehem. Page 157, 
Let's pray responsibly at the bottom of the page as we prepare for Micha Mofa. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. On page 158, our redemption song, a focus of our Pesach holiday of Passover, just around the corner, Monday night, be ready, little warm-up, Micha Mocha, 158. <laughs> page 160, we have our prayer of Hashki Venu asking for God to spread over us a, a shelter of peace, a sukkah shalom, and I speak of this often at, at this point in the service that a lot of the melodies coming into Hashki Venu, they, they raise us up. I mean, when we do that micha mocha real big, there's a lot of clapping and it's loud and often it's followed by this quiet this soft prayer, and it's a little, it's, that's life. There's loud, there's quiet, there's ups, there's downs, and it's in the downs that sometimes we, we turn a little more inward to pray a little more out into the world, thinking of the things that we pray will be fixed so that we can get up off our feet and be the ones to also help fix it. Hashki Venu 160. <laughs> Hashki Venu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Vehamiteinu Shomreinu Lechaim Spread the shelter of your peace over us Guide us in wisdom Compassion and trust. Hashki Venu Adonai. Eloheinu Lishalom. Vehamiteinu Shomreinu Lechaim. Save us for the sake of your name. Shield us from hatred, sorrow, and pain. Hashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'hamiteinu shomreinu Page 
162 Vishamru, our prayer that we add in for Shabbat. It's not a prayer we get to do the rest of the week, but one especially thanking God for, well, actually it doesn't, it doesn't exactly thank God for giving us Shabbat. It just declares that God gave us Shabbat, and it's kind of an implication of God gave it to us. So let's use it. So let's use it. Vishamru 162. Shamaru Bane Israel et Hashabat Lazot et Hashabat Lorot Hamperitonam Vishamaru Bane Israel et Hashabat Lazot et Hashabat On Saturday night, our social hall was filled with congregants for our annual Spring Forward fundraiser. Now before and during the festivities, many in the hall, we had our phones on the table and we refreshed and refreshed our news feeds because a little bit before the event started at around 4 p.m. our time, that's 11 p.m. Israel time, Israelis were informed that Iran had launched an aerial attack. And according to Nave, he was our former Shin Chin, he's currently serving in the IDF, Israelis heard the red alerts about three hours after that initial launch. Now abroad, Jews were glued to their phones, some. Some were, you know, multitasking. Others were celebrating other events, some unaware. And while Israel faced its first ever direct attack from Iran, that was 170 drones, more than 30 cruise missiles, more than 120 ballistic missiles. And as the Spring Forward fundraiser came to a close, just moments before, that is when the last breaking news headline came across my phone. The notification was that the attack had concluded with minimal damage and the shelter in, or shelter in place order was lifted. The feeling was surreal, absolutely surreal. And the next morning, I was in a classroom filled with our teen high school students and Sunday school teachers and I looked at our teens and I reminded them, when you went with your confirmation class to Washington DC and lobbied our elected officials to support the safety and security of Israel, that work just came to fruition. If at any point in the last I don't know, 20 years, if you have lobbied an elected official, then you too played a role in the outcome of Saturday night and early Sunday morning. Because without the defense systems on Saturday night, systems like Arrow 3 for long missiles, long range missiles, David Sling for the medium range and Iron Dome for short range, Israel may not have existed on Sunday morning. But it was more than just defense systems. More than Israel's defense systems, the United States, the United Kingdom, France, and Jordan defended Israel as well. And this multilateral defense alliance, it began in 2021, 
because Israel joined CENTCOM, the U.S. Central Command. And previously, Israel was a part of the European Command. Now, thanks to the Abraham Accords, tensions with countries already in CENTCOM had eased. Adding Israel to the intelligence sharing group made sense based on the geopolitical realities. And this all meant that on April 14th, Israel time, CENTCOM nations were able to transfer intelligence and engage in precision joint aerial operations to thwart, Isra to thwart Iran's attack. It is not hyperbolic to say that had these systems not been in place, Israel may not have made it through the night. And as I sat down the next morning, that same Sunday morning, to study our weekly parsha, I did so knowing that Israel was still standing. And as I opened my Torah commentary to Mitzora, our Torah portion this week, I was immediately drawn to the portion's focus on what to do when an affliction spreads. Mitzora continues last week's focus on skin aff afflictions and purity issues. And we read a chapter that describes the sara'at, the eruptive plagues that can specifically afflict homes. And we learn how priests decide whether or not the plague can be destroyed or when it is time to destroy the home because the plague has gone too far. And while many rabbis of old wondered why a home is plagued with sara'at in the first place, other scholars focus on how we can fix the problem and move forward into the, the future. The Torah's focus, though, the Torah, just the Torah, it focuses on the latter. The text doesn't spend time explaining why the, tz the tzara'at plagued the house. A surface reading of the text, called the Peshat, it describes the steps to take once the person informs the priest of the sara'at and how to move forward. And I see the need for this latter understanding in how we approach the Israel conversation as it stands today. We can debate ad nauseum the source of our post-October 7th world. But understanding the whys will do little to help us with the what nows of our immediate reality. As American Jews, our what now is to continue the call for the United States government to support their only democratic ally in the Middle East through both the CENTCOM relationship and the financial support necessary to fund Israel's defense missiles. Defending itself from the Iranians assault on April 14th was the most expensive day in the history of Israel. Israel intercepted half of the missiles and drones at a financial cost of around $550 million in one day. A plague of evil is already upon our home, our homeland. The rabbis of old had the luxury of time. They were trying to understand a Torah text from hundreds, perhaps a thousand years earlier. They had time to sit with the why. But we must sit with our brothers and sisters in the what now. Our focus should rest on what we can do to protect the safety and security of our historic homeland. And I pray for the day when we can land in Israel once again, and like the priest who returns to the treated house to pronounce it pure and healed, I pray that we too can declare a state of shalom bait, peace in the home for all of Israel. Anything else is just commentary. Shabbat shalom. We'll continue in our service with our Amidah. We rise, page 164. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Adonai. Eloheinu, Elohe Avoteinu, Imoteinu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol 
Hagi Boy Bahanora El El Yon Gomel Hasadim Tobim Vitone Hako Bizoker Hastea Vot Vimahot Ume Vigula Lib Nevene Hem Leman Shimo Via Hava Melakos Der Umoshia Umagain Barukata Donai Magain Abraham Bezrat Sarah Atagi Bor Leola Madonai Nikaye Hakolata Rab the Hoshia Mashi Parua Humorin Hagashem Mekal Kel Chaim Bechaset Mekaye Hakol Berachamim Rabim So Mech Noflim Berofe Cholim Umatir Asurim Umekaye Memunato We continue in silent prayer with the words of our prayer book or the words of our heart. When you've completed your prayer, please be seated. Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rabba Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Ata HaMelech Adon Lecho HaShalom My pleasure to invite forward Harvey Burson, member of our Board of Trustees, to share with us a few announcements. You're welcome to utilize the stand if you like. Might as well. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom. 
Thank you, Rabbi Rachel. Said. My name is Harvey Burse, and I'm a member of the uh, Temple Board of Trustees. Uh, I just want to welcome our guests and congregants and people who are watching online. Um, while you're here this evening, if you're visiting Emmanuel or if you're a new member, please feel free to introduce yourselves to me or congregants, the rabbis, Jessica. Glad y'all are here. I um, want to thank the ushers, Bob Anton and Nancy Shapiro. And our ONEG tonight is sponsored by our generous congregants. A um, couple of last announcements. Please check the weekly uh, Temple Emmanuel events and programming email on Mondays for more details on upcoming programs. And a couple of programs to note, uh, Rabbi Max's lifelong learning class, which is fantastically called Jews and Booze, uh, starts on April 30th. What could be bad about that? Uh, and Rabbi Colbert is coming back for services on April 26th, and uh, on April 29th, there is a Passover Yisker service. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. And the only thing not on there to highlight was the, the email that went out today with three upcoming events in April. So you have two regarding um, anti-Jewish hate, as well as one about the supernova um, film that is a documentary about what happened on October 7th. Um, and if anybody has questions about any of the three programs in that email, come find me at the ONEG and happy to share more about that. Um, and so before we, or as we move into the next part of our service, our Shachianu moment, sharing anything that might be nice in your life that's going on, something good, could be small, could be big. Um, if you just raise a hand and share your name with everybody and what you would like to share. My name is Nora Florsheim, and my husband and I became great aunt and uncles again yesterday. Oh. My nephew, my sister's youngest child, had a baby boy. Mazel tov. And everybody's doing well? Doing great. Beautiful. Hi, I'm Dan Charvardini, and this is my wife, Cheryl. Um, we haven't been here in a while. Cheryl's been a little under the weather, and we're very grateful to be here tonight that their health has allowed us to be here. And since it's been so long since we've been here, um, we became grandparents to a lovely baby girl named Ava Ray Charvardini, and we were She's blessed three months, old. three months old last week or so. So great to be here. Thank you. Mazel. Today, our granddaughter, Sarah Siegel, got her driving license permit, <laughs> and she's informed me that some soccer is going to take her out to teach her to drive. <laughs> so avoid the roads is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. Oh, back to Cheryl. Hi, I'm Cheryl Chevrolet, and he, heard, he took what I was going to say, but the more I had time to think about is... Um, I've been sick a lot, about well, recently, and I just wanted to thank everyone in the temple here for reaching out to me. They've been very, very nice and supportive, and you know, I keep getting emails, and I keep getting phone calls, and it's been cards, and it's really, really nice that I have a support system here, so I just wanted to thank everyone. Thank you, thank you. And it was nice to take you off, to sit right. off the Misha Barak list, here in person instead. I'm Robert Wittenstein, and this week, uh, my wife Susan and I celebrated our 36th wedding anniversary, Ooh. and our son Adam celebrated his 30th birthday, so it's been a great week. Wonderful. Double high. Mazel tov. Hi, uh, Emily Sanders and John Margolis. We celebrated with our son and um, his wife and two children his 40th birthday last week in Paris, France. Wonderful. Jess, anything this week? Yes, actually, my soon-to-be two-year-old, Sam, he had his first ever performance today. Oh. Um, his class and him, they did um, the Bumblebee on Bringing Home a Baby on stage at the JCC in front of all of the other classes, and he crushed it, I have to say. <laughs> did he have the foot going? He, he did the whole, nobody else was moving. He did the whole dance. He might have gotten that from me. 
It tracks. It does track. It does track. So for all these good things, for reaching this moment in time, we thank God. Shech Anu, 648. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shech Anu Vekimanu Vehegianu Hazman Hazeh I apologize that I think I missed putting the, the sheets out for this next one, um, but as has become customary since October 7th, we take time in our service to offer a prayer for the hostages, um, and we pray for their safe return to us. And so if you've become familiar with the words, or lie, 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 works perfect as we join with Jessica. <laughs> Beit Yisrael, Achenu, Ko Beit Yisrael, Hanatuni Betzara, Betzara Ulashivya, Haomdim Bein Bayam, Bein Bayabasha, Hamakom Yerachem, Yerachem Ale. And as also is custom, we offer prayers of healing, of body, of mind, of spirit, of relationship. And we are especially thinking of the following folks. That is Rob Gilbert, Charlie Cohn, Kaska Mishkogi, Aaron Silverman, Tzvi Natan, Craig Spector, Chick Herman, Sally Bayer, Amy Brownstein, Ken Schiffer, Karnina Michalbat, Yitzhak Vitova, Jennifer Herman, Yehudit Bat Yocheved, Aharon Ben Batya, Jeffrey Crispo, Ethan Berkowitz, Benjamin Ben Moshe, Gedalia, Vechaya Freya, Chane Gitel Bat Aharon Vibatya, Jack Elkin, and Hannah Schuster. If there's somebody that you're praying for the healing of, I invite you to share that name aloud as my eyes meet yours. Thank you. Thank you. So we turn to page 371. If your neighbor is comfortable, we wrap an arm around and we join, we rise and we join together. <laughs>
remain standing for Kiddush on page 123. Anybody under the age of bar bat mitzvah in the room? <laughs> Mark, could I trouble you to walk around with this? I would ask you, yep. All right, we join together. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafen Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushana Bumitzvotah Veratzava Anenu Veshabbat Kodesha Biyahavu Braton In Kilanu Zikaron Lemaasei Vareishit Ki hu yom techila Lamikra e kodesh Zeyacher letiyat Mitzrayim Ki vanu vaharta Veotanu kilasha Mikohamim Veshabbat All right, friends, once again, we remain standing. Page 586. Steve, you want to help me open the ark? Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol L'atet gedula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu k'vei haratzot Velo samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkeinu kahem Vegor aleinu kecho hamonam Vanachnu korim Mishachavim umodim Lifne melech Malchei hamlachim Hakadosh baruch hu V'nemar V'haya Adonai L'melech Al kol ha'aretz V'yom ha'hu V'yom ha'hu Yie Adonai Please be seated. <coughs> I'll be on page five hundred and ninety six. <coughs> When cherished ties are broken and the chain of love is shattered, only trust in the strength of faith can lighten the heaviness of the heart. At times, the pain of separation seems more than we can bear. But if we dwell too long on our loss, we embitter our hearts and harm ourselves and those about us. The psalmist said that in his affliction, we learned the law of God. And in truth, grief is a great teacher when it sends us back to serve and bless the living. We learn how to counsel and comfort those who, like ourselves, are bowed with sorrow. We learn when to keep silent in their presence and when a word will assure them of our love and concern. Thus, even when they are gone, the departed are with us, moving us to live as in their higher moments they themselves wished to live. We remember them now. They live in our hearts. They are an abiding blessing. And on this Shabbat, we are expressing condolences to those who lost Charles Livingston and Selma Jacobs, and those in a period of Shiva for Robert Levy or Levy? Thank you. 
for Robert Levy, Barbara Chalif, William N. Friedman, and those in a period of Shloshim for Erica Browner, as well as to those observing our sites for Luella Bender, Cecile Block, Hilfred Bosick, Sida Brandenburg, Morton Chalif, Ray Cypress, Barbara DuBose, Doris Freund, Vivian Goldberg, Elaine Goldman, Leonard Goldsmith, Stanley Goodman, Dorothy Grazier, Debbie Lapidus, Libby Levine, Sydney Lerner, Marjorie Lubin, Irvin Margolis, Albert Murad, Harriet Newport, Howard Paul, Lawrence Propp, Irving Rothberg, Irvin Schneider, Lee Schwartz, Leonard Shapiro, Rick Shapiro, Selma Shapiro, Sydney Silvers, Doris Steiner, and Paul Wolf. If you are in a period of Shiva, the first seven days, we invite you to rise so we may recognize you. If you are in a period of Shloshim, the first 30 days, we invite you to rise so we may recognize you. If you are in the first year, Yud Bet, morning, a loved one, we invite you to rise so we can recognize you. And if it is, sorry, and if you're observing a yard site, a death anniversary of a loved one, we invite you to rise so we can recognize you. And if it is your custom to rise for Mourner's Kaddish, as it is here at Temple Emmanuel, we invite you to do so now in the words of Kaddish Atom, page 598. Yitzkadal v'yitzkadash shemei rabba, be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute, be'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala uv'izman kari v'imru, amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivarach Leolam Ulme Amaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Vit Paar Vit Roma Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Talal Shemid Kurisha Brihu Le Ela Minko Birchata Vishirata Tush Bechata Venechamata Damiran Belma Vimru Amin Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya Bechayim alenu veal kol Yisrael, vimru, amen. Ose shalom vimromav, hu ya se shalom, alenu veal kol Yisrael, vimru, amen. Ose shalom vimromav, hu ya se shalom, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Anybody want this delicious? <laughs>